Hey, what's up guys? I uh, figured I'd uh, bring you guys a little tutorial here. Um, I had a friend who was asking, he said, uh, I'd really love to see an N64 emulator for my PS Vita or my PS TV. In this case, we're using the PS TV, and I'm using the PS Vita to record this, so I apologize for the quality. Uh, it's only as good as my Vita. But um, that said, I'm going to show you guys how I, how I get the N64 running. Of course, RetroArch is actually building an N64 emulator for us for the Vita. And that's not ready yet. The GPU library is still being worked on by Zerpy and, and company. That said, I'm going to show you how you can run some N64 uh, without it. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need um, adrenaline. In order to get adrenaline, there's some tricks you can do. I would suggest that you get first of all uh, Adrenaline Easy Installer and EPSP Bubble Installer. Now what this is going to do is if you own any legitimate PSP game, any, I mean any, all from the network, uh, you've downloaded any legitimate PSP game, in my case I used Grand Theft Auto, uh, Liberty City Stories or something to that effect, but I own that on my Vita legitimately. And so I was able to use uh, Adrenaline and install that to my copy of Grand Theft Auto and e EPSP Bubble Installer. And what that allows me to do is it creates this Adrenaline Bubble. Now, um, of course, you're going to need to have uh, Homebrew enabled for um, Hankaku Exploit. Over here and click Install. Of course, if you're using this, you obviously know about Hankaku and Homebrew. So... Uh, I'm going to assume you do. If you don't, look up Henkaku PSP exploit and then come back to this after you're exploited. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start up Adrenaline, okay? Now what Adrenaline does is it emulates a PSP on your PS Vita or your PS TV. In this case, we're using the PS TV, right? But there you see it. It just emulated my PSP 6.61 firmware on my PS TV. Now what we're going to do now this is a PSP emulator it basically emulates the PSP system itself well um, it mounts a dev hooks the version 6.61 firmware now you can get signed programs for 6.61 firmware you can put ISOs and PSP games in here and you hack uh, free PSP games so yes it's piracy and yes I support it so fuck you guys that don't but <laughs> fuck you if you don't leave I don't like you either uh, <laughs> that said <laughs> I pirated Tekken fuck you <laughs> that said uh, what we can do is we can use PSP homebrew now as well if it's signed of course so I have a signed copy of Deadly 64 uh, uh, Daedalus 64 emulator for the PSP it's a piece of homebrew for the PSP so I'll be because it's signed. I should have no problem running this at all. And so let's go ahead and hit X. I got this from MU Paradise. If anybody wants to know where I got a signed copy of Deadless Emulator, read it. MU Paradise. Um, now I put in six. I put in Mario 64 for our example here. As you can see, it'll go A to Z, and it'll actually show a picture for any any ROM that you put in it. Uh, this version of it. It's a really really nice build of the Deadless 64 emulator. In fact, the best build. But uh, that said, we're going to go ahead and load up Super Mario here, and I'm going to go into my edit preferences and make sure our audio is on synchronized there. You want to make sure it says synchronized, and, then, and it won't be by default, but do that. And then go save and return, and that makes sure you've got audio, because not all games uh, run well with audio. But Mario 64 happens to have been babied by it's the developers. Me, Mario! So as you can see, Mario runs quite a little lag there in the start, but overall quite a playable emulator at quite playable speeds. I bake you a cake, yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Classic. So away we go. Drops the Cthulhu go down there. Call the Cthulhu. <laughs> I wouldn't have to tell if it's on. 
Alright guys, so you can see there's a little emulation hitches here and there, but for the most part we've got pretty smooth rendering. We got audio, we got video, and it plays quite nicely. Out comes Mario. And let's do a little running around and punching and things with our Mario. As you can see, he uh, is fairly responsive. It's very, very playable. So there you have it, N64 on your PS Vita or your PS TV, folks. Uh, that's how I go about it until, um, and, and like I said, we are going to get an actual N64 emulator for the Vita. Now this is PSP emulation using PSP Homebrew and I want to be very specific about that. Now Lib Retro and RetroArch and uh, the RetroArch series emulators and Zerpy are working together to unlock full 3D GPU access allowing us to actually play this in Vita mode on instead of having to be on a PSP emulator. Alright guys, well Mario's tired, so I guess I guess that's our cue. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope this is useful and we'll catch you later. Let's see, let's go ahead and go to our adrenaline menu and then go to exit PSP application. Just so you guys can see this come back to the menu. And there you have it. So if you want to enjoy some good uh, emulators for the old PSP and anything on the old PSP, uh, get yourself Adrenaline set up for your Vita or your PSTV. Alright guys, peace.